Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a really long time, really quick, I'll sum that up. I've been working 40-45 hours a week, I've been super busy, but I've been feeling motivated to get back into YouTube and doing more videos for you guys. I want to have more quick tutorials that I can do more regularly, and I'll get those out for you as much as possible. So today I want to show you how to do some low poly stuff. So for example, like these uh, these trees, I want to show you more specifically how to do low poly trees. And uh, this is a scene I created using just all low poly things that are really quick and easy uh, to throw together. So using this technique you can make other things as well, but today we'll be focusing on trees. So let's jump right into this. I have 3ds Max open today. Today we'll be starting with a Geosphere, so grab that and throw one right in the middle of your scene. You can then take it and move it upwards a little bit. Since this is a tree, you will want it up off the ground. Now for the sake of the way I work, I'm going to throw a black color on there and then just a base material. So now when I work, it has this nice black finish around it. Okay, so we have our geosphere. Now, in here, the radius can be whatever you like it to be. That doesn't matter, that is up to you. Now for segments, I, I think two is a little too low for a tree, so I like to go with three. Otherwise, there's four for more complex, but uh, three works really well. You have these three settings here. There is tetra, octa, and icosa. It's kind of crazy, you wanna make a disco ball. But for the tree, we're gonna go with Tetra. Now, let me take this off. You can see you had this low poly look. Um, if you have smooth on, it's gonna smooth it out and we don't want that. So make sure you have smooth turned off. Also, if you like your tree top to be bottom, like flat on the bottom, you can do hemisphere. So moving on, don't have to worry about the rest of that really. After we have our geosphere, we are then gonna go to noise. Now what noise will do is it'll do kind of just that, it'll do noise. So we're going to do a strength of about 10, 10, and 10. And then for the scale, you start moving it down. And once you get to about 40, it will start to distort. And this we can use to create some interesting shapes. So you can, uh, there's different seeds that you can use. You can kind of click through them until you find one that maybe you like for a treetop. Um, then you can also, if you'd like, even increase the strength of this to get even more deformation of your tree top. So mm, this one's a little bit much. Maybe, you know, I kind of like this one. Let's see what other seeds there are. I think this right here will work good for my needs. Um, let me see, actually, let's go back one more, yeah, I think this will do just fine. So now that I have my tree top here, uh, I'm going to go into my material, I'm then going to just make a normal green diffuse and throw that on there. So now I have my little tree top. Um, I know it doesn't look like much, but once you combine it with a base, it will look very nice. So we're going to create our base for our tree. I just have a box, and I am in my top view, so that way I can make it around the middle of my tree and get a good dimension there. I want both of my sides to be the same, so I'm going to do 5 by 5, and I'll leave the height the way it is. I will also throw a base material on there. And we are going to convert this into a edible poly. I will then grab the sides. You, we already have, oh, well, I already messed that up. Let me go back. We don't want any segments on here, so get rid of your segments. And then go ahead and convert it to a edible poly. So now that's edible poly, I'm going to grab these sides and I'm going to connect them. I will do three connections. Now the base of my tree I want to be larger so I'm going to make that a little bit larger. 
I want to make this a little bit larger as well as put it a little bit lower. And then the, the top ones I want to be a little bit skinnier just for the way that I would like to do my tree today. And we'll bring that down and make that a little bit skinnier as well. So now that I have this the, the way I want it, I am going to come over into here and do noise once again. So this time I'm going to do strength of about 5 because we don't have as many polygons. So once I have that at 5, I'm going to come back down, bring it to about 40 again where it starts changing. And, oh, I got to make sure, make sure you don't have any of these selected otherwise it will not work correctly. So I'm going to go back in here. Now you see I get these cool little shapes going on and the more I do this, the more it's going to form. Actually, I think I might leave it like that and then do 10 on here. So now I have my tree branch, like my tree trunk. So I'm going to align that to the middle of my tree, not the z-axis, only the x and the y, right in the center. Oh, well, maybe not directly in the center. About right there. And I think I may even raise this up a little bit. So, there we go. I will now throw this on there. And you see you have a nice little low poly tree. I want to show you two more, but this uh, kind of gives you an idea of where to start and how to do your low poly creations. Now, if your, your stuff is looking too smooth, you can grab all of this and get rid of these smoothing groups by clicking clear all. So now, when you look at your tree, oops, let me go back to this. I have this selected again. When I go back, these are all going to have their own smoothing groups to give you a nice low poly finish. So here is tree number one. Let's move this to the side. And we're going to go back and grab a geosphere once again. This time, I am going to add four segments because this one's going to be a little bit more complex. I am then going to expand it a little bit and make it kind of skinnier because we're going to want to create a tall skinny shrub like tree. So once again we'll go to noise, put this at 10, let's bring this down to about 35 and start to lower it. Alright so let's say I like that and then we'll go in and I'm going to do a twist on it as well just to give it a little bit more character and we will make that a little bit skinnier. So here's my second tree. Throw my material on there and we can use the same base for that tree as well. You can switch it up but for the sake of this video we'll just use the same one for the moment. So now you have these two different kinds of trees and we're going to do one more that is similar to the one I had in my scene. And this one allows you to be uh, a little bit more freeform and do it more as you please. So I'm going to take a box, put that on the ground, and I want all my sides to be exactly the same. So I'm going to do 20, 20, 20 and I'm going to do two segments each at four so I can look at it and then I'm going to come into my modifier and I'm going to spherify it so now that I have my box spherified I'm going to convert it into a edible poly I'll then grab all of the, the sides of it and do a clear all so now I have a nice polygonal square so I'm going to move this over here, I'm going to grab this branch, and I'm actually going to turn this into a different kind of trunk. So I'm going to convert this into a edible poly. I'm going to do a connect here, oh, connect, and I'm going to push this down to about right there. I then want to grab this side, do an extrude 
and I can then pull, oops, not with the edge constraints on, I can then pull this and move it over here. So now, here is our little tree bushel. We will move that over here and then bring it upwards like so. I will then bring another one over here and this you don't have to follow step for step. This is just more do as you please. Um, you do want to make sure that your a pivot point is directly in the center so that when you're rotating it, it rotates correctly. So now I have that in the center. I'm going to make this one slightly larger maybe. And then I'm just going to start pulling them around and rotating and moving them in uh, different locations. So I'm going to bring one over here and bring it forwards. Want one on the back side as well. Maybe that one will be, you know, a little bit smaller. Just kind of tuck it in there. And then we're going to want another one probably right here. Just kind of rotate it wherever. Keep things, you know, randomized looking. Put that there. And then maybe we'll have like one more small one right down here in the middle. So now you have three different types of trees and we have created all these in a very short period of time in less than 10 minutes exactly. So here you have these three cool little low poly trees. You can use uh, these techniques to make many different kinds of trees. Just kind of use your imagination. And in the next video I will be showing some other cool tricks that you can do with these trees and uh, some other you know awesome things. So anyways guys I'm sorry for the you know the long delay until I posted a new video. I've just been super busy. You know, look forward to more videos. I will try to do, interact with you guys more often and be more active with the channel. So if you like this video, please leave a like, you know, subscribe if you like it. I will be posting more on a regular basis and I look forward to hearing you guys and seeing you in the next video.